All right, let's get this thing opened up. It came in this very interesting U-Haul box. I hope it didn't get damaged. It sounds like it's pretty loose in there. Let's find out. All right, here it is. It looks like it's in really nice condition. No damage as far as I can tell anywhere on here. Let's see if it's got a charge. And it does. So let's get this up on the desk and see what happens when we power it on. All right, let's press the power button and see what happens. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little impatient. Regardless of what happens here, I want to put this SSD inside. This is a one terabyte Micron SSD. I picked this up on eBay for like 30 bucks. It's crazy how cheap these things are getting, but um, it's already got High Sierra on it. So I'm going to plug this in and try to boot from that instead of waiting for this to do whatever it's doing with either a failed hard drive or recovery mode or who knows what. So let's try that. Let's log in and see what specs we have. I'll try to make this as full screen as possible. I'm not sure that's gonna be a thing. Okay, let's check about this Mac. Oh, nice. This is the 2.5 gigahertz i7, which I believe is the fastest processor a 2011 MacBook Pro could get along with we've got 16 gigabytes of upgraded 1600 megahertz. These computers shipped with, I want to say 1300 megahertz. And we've got the HD graphics. And we should have an AMD graphics card that I'm surprised is working. So the 6770, I don't know if that's the max these could get. I think there was a 6790, but I'm maybe that was only for the iMac. Let's see if this video card is working. And it is. Wow. This is like, I've, I've had probably 20 or 30 of these 2011s. This is maybe the second or third one that has had a working AMD card. Now, if the battery cycles on this are really low, that would explain it because then this thing just hasn't been used much. And 214, yeah, I mean, I guess that's possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this SSD installed, give this computer a little clean off with some isopropyl alcohol, and then we'll take a look at how this thing appears after that and run it through some benchmarks. Let's get the bottom cover off so we can put the SSD inside. Okay, here we go. This is actually pretty clean compared to how some of these look. So we've got two sticks of RAM here, we've got two fans, got the battery, the hard drive, optical drive, Wi-Fi card, speaker right there, and actually the VRAM chips are soldered on here, and then the GPU and CPU are on the other side here. But what we came for is this drive, so we're going to get that out. So it looks like someone upgraded this at some point. They, Apple did not use Seagate 
SSHDs, which are honestly a big scam because it's just a hard drive. There's nothing, nothing special about it. But we need these little mounting screws that we're going to take off and put onto our SSD. And here's our one terabyte SSD that we're going to screw these into. And we'll fit that back into the SATA cable. Put these in and let it fall down and screw this back. MacBook is booted with the SSD. Yes, I know. It actually crashed. I was running Geekbench 5 OpenCL and it just completely shut down on me. I did get through Cinebench, but I don't think it saved my score. So we're going to run Cinebench again and Geekbench 5 CPU and We'll come back when those results are finished. So Cinebench R23 finished with a score of 2,508, which is not very good compared to today's standards. But that's what you get with a second gen Core i5. Now, let's do a Geekbench 5 run on CPU and see what we get there. And here is Geekbench 5 with a single core of 694, multi core of 2616. And I will scroll through the rest of the numbers. For those who are interested, you can pause the video and take a look. But again, not a great score, but what can you say? This is a CPU that is like 12, 13 years old. Can't really hold its own anymore outside of some basic light tasks. So that has been a look at this 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro with the high resolution anti-glare display which looks very nice so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna roll some uh, clips through here just kind of showing off how good this thing looks but thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one